There's no bomb in this place, sir. <laughs> um, your bomb? <laughs> There's no bomb in here. <laughs> Hello, people. This is Beta Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. How's that for an intro, guys? Um, if you're wondering what we were just laughing about, um, <laughs> I don't know if I should tell them where this. It's a, it's alright. I think I might have mentioned it in another video. Basically, guys, when I start my videos to sync my, uh, <laughs> to sync my audio and video together, I basically just like I go like pop, 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 like this. And the <sighs> first time I did it, it kind of confused them. And the second time I did it, <laughs> um, zero ball over here because uh, <laughs> I hear some beeping. <laughs> yeah, so that's just what I did. It, it was a little odd doing the first time. Anyway, we're in here, and apparently there are <sighs> oh my god, get away! There are jelly, there are freaking jellyfish. Oh UFO. my god! Now these guys don't let them grab you. These guys creep me out when I first played. Anyway, keep using Bo's little hiding ability, and they'll be confused and go away from you. And I love how she wags her little tail every time you use that <laughs> ability. Do you uh have a thing with Boos and their tails wagging? I don't know. Yeah. I think it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm still trying to find someone who's willing to pair you with Bombay. <laughs> <laughs> My God, sir, why do you have to bring that up? <laughs> well, uh, like now, now all uh, now all my viewers who don't read the comments are gonna know about that. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, please. It'll help me. <laughs> anyway, oh over here, boy, we have, we have the sleeping enemy, and you want to be careful. Don't wake him up. Slam him with the hammer. <laughs> Or I love how he like kind of had like a bit of a reaction to go with that. <laughs> it's like he was like smacking with the hammer. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> or 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 the way Yzma would say if you've ever seen the Emperor's new group. Like first, I'll turn him into a flea. A harmless little flea. Now put that box. Then I'll put that flea in a box. Then I'll put that box in another box. Then I'll mail that box to myself. And when it arrives, I'll smash it with the hammer. <laughs> okay, we just like. Giving her like some sort of Saudi Arabia <laughs> accent or something? I I don't know. I wasn't really trying for a voice because I know I can't do Isma's voice, so I was just kind of going off on whatever there. And then I'll smack it with a hammer. <laughs> that that was actually pretty good for for a guy trying to do Isma's voice. That that was actually pretty good. Boy. Anyway, guys, this I failed to kind of mention, but this is like I said, Double Blubba's Castle, a place where I actually know quite a few of the secrets of, and that apparently not one of them. I just slammed my head kind of on the ceiling there. Sorry, Mar. What is it with me and giving my characters concussions? Maybe you have something with that too. It's just like booze whacking their tails. Oh god! Ah, get away, Clover! <laughs> get away, Clover! Scream! Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> oh god, there's three of them. Ugh, I don't want to fight them. Ah, uh, pretty. Oh, he's got some huh? <laughs> tight security. <laughs> I know there's freaking clubs everywhere. Oh god, not like so I remember one thing later, but. Oh, okay, boy. guess I'm, I'm probably gonna cut this battle. I don't want to fight all three of them. So see you in a minute. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. Hey, we're the Game Grumps. Oh, well, we're not Grumps for knights, but that's true. We're we're the Game Knights or the Knight Grumps. I don't know. What, I don't. I don't know what you really call us. Uh, I don't know, guys. Leave a comment. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment. Should we be the Game Knights? The Night Crumbs? Or the Orson Twins? That would be a very awkward one, sir. <laughs> anyway, we come into this room. Apparently, there's giant furniture. Jump up onto those crates and then the chair, and you get that star piece that I just got up there. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. This game has a lot of, uh, a lot of button and control stick mashing, I have to admit. A lot more so than the second game, I've noticed on something. God, I cannot get the timing right on these freaking clubbers. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid clubbers. Anyway, these are basically Tubble Blubba's minions. As you can see, they really? look yeah, very yeah. much like I him. I kind of like thought of him more as like his children, but then again, oh, who's the mom? Oh god, I, I don't want to know what a female one looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's kind of... It might be kind of obvious. You never know. And in uh, the Mario universe, um... Well, how about I just explain this to like some of our younger viewers? Okay, when a Princess Peach and a Bowser love one another. <laughs> oh my or, god. Or, um, 
<laughs> I don't know what to put it in this case, but... I, I don't know. I don't want to say Princess Daisy and Tubba Blubba, because... Well, for one thing, I'm a Daisy fan, so... Oh, okay. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you'd, you'd probably like this one up here, uh, Fiery Red Hero 8. <laughs> I, wa I started watching some of her videos lately, and uh, her icon is actually a, a red-headed Daisy. Oh, really? I think I might have heard of her before. I I've seen some of her videos. She's pretty on. funny, actually. Oh, yeah, you gotta sneak by the gloves, gotta sneak by the gloves. Screw you, screw you. Ah, made it. <laughs> Nose bubbles. Yeah, I know. And I sma uh, still smashed through the if floor you're, here. If, uh, <laughs> now some people are probably wondering, Oh, are you sharing screens with him? Nope, we're still... I still can't see what he's doing, but I do remember what they look like whenever they're asleep. I've played the game before, so... Yeah. The main, the main reason I actually agree to this commentary is because, like I said, I've known him for a while, and he said this is his favorite chapter, so I'm sure he probably knows a lot about this. Anyway, I like how the key, the keys in this castle kind of look like uh, clubs, like from playing cards. I can't remember. Oh I can't yeah. Remember. Did uh, what did the uh, keys from the Koopa Bros Fortress look like? Um, I think they just looked like normal. No, they. I think they were actually like uh, clovers or something. I yeah, think. Yeah, they might have been. They might have been. Hey. Yeah, I think they were. Oh, you're mine. Oh. Nice place, huh? As a matter of fact, I came to this castle with my friends to try and find Tubble Bubba's weak point. We managed to find out that there's something important hidden in Tubble Bubba's room on the highest floor. But once I got separated from my friends, I just had to hide. So you go first in the uppermost floor and get go until you get to the room, blah blah. blah. You guys talk a lot. <laughs> so, ba so basically, we just gotta sneak up in his room and read a couple of things we're not really supposed to. Yeah, basically, we're gonna sneak into his room. We're gonna we're gonna look through his unmentionables and oh, an upgrade block. <laughs> Nice way to derive from that point that I just started on. <laughs> oh boy! If we find a secret diary, we gotta read it. Oh god! I I, I, lo I love how they they've actually like gone to the point of like like outright saying that basically Bowser has a crush on Peach. It's kind of cute if you think about it. A little a little strange. It's like forget interracial. You got interspecies. Oh, jellyfish! Oh yeah. I mean, if you kind of think about it, then <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> And they kind of did a lot of this and that with some games nowadays, yeah. so... Is it really that surprising I, I actually really like the games where he gets to play as Bowser, or Bowser's, like, not quite the bad guy that he used to be. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, uh... Failed to mention back there, uh... That upgrade block. Sorry, Goombario, but... It's like, I have nothing against you, but... It's like, I kind of have to upgrade Bo. It's like, upgrading her in this part is, like... Kind of... Mandatory, almost. <laughs> Plus, I think he does. I think he's trying to get rid of his problems with giving people concussions. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, he. I mean, he's basically he's basically set in like permanent concussion mode, Gumario. <laughs> I just probably spoiled it for those who are actually new to the game, but. Uh. Uh, if, if you oh. mean one of his, if you mean his like attacks and stuff that he gets when he. Yeah. His, eh, maybe, but. Oh god, I hear Bowser in the background again. <laughs> oh yeah, that's one weird thing, guys. I've noticed, like, whenever I do uh, Skype calls with people, uh, they say, like, they hear, like, these, uh, like, these weird groaning sounds, almost, uh, in the background. Like, you just go, like, something during the recording. Well, well honestly, it kind of sounds more like a train, almost, uh -oh. is what I'm hearing now. Come on. Oh, nice, I actually got all three clubs to, like, block. Yay! Anyway, might as well show this. Uh, this is... Uh, well, Bo gets two upgrades when you upgrade her. Her smack attack gets one more smack. It still only does one damage per, so if there's any enemies with defense, she's kind of not very good. At least for the time being. Uh, but she gets one extra smack, so she does five damage instead of four. Which is still really good. And then uh, she gets a new spook attack. Surprise enemies and scare them away from the fight. <laughs> oh, I just love the face she does whenever you get her to do that. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, man, I didn't make it to the end, but it still worked on all three. And there's the giant... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need to see the screen to know what it looks like. Oh, the spell activated. I'm going to get a ton of coins. Yay. Would have preferred the star points, but okay. Oh, my God, coin lag. Coin lag. <laughs> That's Virtual Console for you. No, I missed one coin. Damn. <laughs> You're not Wario Mario. You're not Wario. I have to... Stick back to saving the princess. <laughs> I have to admit, they did pretty good with porting this thing to the, uh... To the, uh, Virtual Console. 
Yeah, though I'm still kind of questioning as to why they didn't actually make Mario Party 1 into the virtual console. I mean, yeah, it's because the controls... The hand, mur stick hand spinning. murdering. But, but it's pretty much the fact that, well, for one thing, they're actually putting rubber on the <laughs> control sticks now. So, yeah. it's like, okay, well, there's not really that much to worry about. Did you know what the, when the game first came out, due to the controversy uh, with the whole control stick spinning and everything, and like how it was like damaging kids' hands and everything? Yeah, they actually got uh, sued for all sorts of kids and yeah, and they, and they actually start sending out uh, free gloves, uh, like like yeah, gloves. Yeah, uh, I actually I actually remember Chuck Conroy actually saying that in uh, one of the runner, runaway guys. runaway yeah. guy. Yeah, Iro ironically, that's how I know about it. <laughs> oh wait, what's so ironic well, about? Not really. I, well, I guess just because like you remember how that was said. That's the only reason I know about it anyway. Oh. I was about to say, what, um, did you know someone that happens to have done this? Yeah, not quite. Maybe you should have gotten another free pair of gloves, and maybe you would have been more stylish like <laughs> Mario. Anyways, over here, this is a secret that I noticed not a lot of people know about, especially if they're the kind that likes to skip enemies. Behind that sleeping club, it was actually a hole in the wall. Come into this room, you'll see a bunch of uh, floorboards you can bust through. Bust through the top right one, any other one, you'll be screwed, basically. You'll be over here, and you may recognize the area. Fly over on Paracarry to the other side, and we get—I believe this is D down stomp or D down jump. D down jump, yes. Ha ha! I called yeah. it. <laughs> Wait, D down jump. Okay, I'm trying to. Okay, what does that badge do? I forget. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's <laughs> just play the Jeopardy song on me, really. <laughs> it's a defense. It's a defense down badge. It's like D down pound. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh, okay. Yeah, I nearly spun right in, right straight into a club's face. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly spun into his face. Yes. I thought that was very spread enjoyable for him either. Right he, imagine just seeing a spinning Mario flying at you. It's like a ninja star, basically, since he's made of paper. Oh, God, yeah. Paper, <laughs> paper cut for the ages. <laughs> Man. I would wonder, can, can people in the Paper Mario world get... Paper cuts. If they can, that is that is honestly a good question. I've never thought no, of that. No, no, damn it! I spun instead of use the seat down thing. Damn it! <laughs> fucking jelly. <laughs> well, now you guys see what happens if that was, those things will try and catch us and throw us out. Uh, it already did. Use my ability to turn invisible and we'll fool them. Well, you you just kind of failed Metal Gear Solid on that. Metal Gear Mario. Uh, Metal Gear. I don't know. Oh god, have you ever seen a? Uh, I think it's called like Snake the Explorer or something like that. Wait, is this supposed to be like some sort of parody to Dora the Explorer? Yes. Oh, it was like it was no. like Snake in like cartoon chibi-ish form, <laughs> and people are seeing me go up the stairs for a third time. No, don't get caught again. <laughs> um, it basically just shows him in like a cartoony form, and uh, it just shows him he's like, can you say Metal Gear? And then pauses for like 10 seconds like the freaking show does. What? He's like, can you say Metal Gear? Oh boy, that person, that person must be very dedicated in order to do that. Oh yeah, and then, and then he goes on, he's like, Sniper Wolf, no sniping. S <laughs> Sniper Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> when was that video made? Like, I don't know. Oh boy. Okay, guys, this room right here, all these spikes, you can actually use bows out of sight to negate any damage you would take by the spikes and actually get through this puzzle. Ironically, I've noticed this this game actually has a lot of similarities with its sequel, uh, The Thousand Year Door. One, uh, I don't want to spoil it too much, but like something having to do with. Oh, ah, get out of here. <laughs> the <laughs> freaking clubber. <laughs> One thing having to do with the enemies in this game, uh. With being, uh, well, it's similar to chap the same chapter, chapter three in the Thousand Year Door, and uh, that sp that spike puzzle is there almost in the exact same way. The only difference is like you do it with a different party member, obviously, and it's in a different portion of the game. But anyway, I don't want to get too spoilery with that. Anyway, come into this room, and there's actually another secret I know not a lot of people know about. Open this drawer right here. Hop up onto the other drawer. Switch to barricade. Fly over to the bed. Doesn't this one have like a star piece or something? Cause this nope. one sounds familiar. Go onto the pillow, onto the onto the headboard, on the shelf, on the books, on the other shelf. 
Find this book. <laughs> Down these stairs, and you get the Mega Rush Badge. Oh. When Mario's in peril, okay. his attack power goes up by four. Massive damage increase. Well, not as much as the buff that you uh, get in um, uh, the sequel of the game, but oh, hey, God, it's, de yeah. it's decent in this game. Yep. Anyway, jump down here and you'll land on the table on the floor below to get the star piece. Anyway, I don't want you guys to watch me go up those same stairs four times in a row, so we will be right back. Four times in a row, man. I'm trying to take a drink of water and it drips down the left side of my face. Yeah. Oh, my, my voice almost cracked with the face. <laughs> okay, guys, be right back. Yeah. Tell them apart. Reason behind tell them apart. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if I did oh, or not. Oh, God. Cause... Damn it. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we're back. <laughs> I guess we'll, show, we'll add this in just for a few laps. Uh, yeah, um... Yeah, let's let's just say, guys, when you're running away from jellyfish, don't have para-carry out. <laughs> God damn it. Failed, tele failed teleport was fail. Teleport! <laughs> and I almost got caught again in that first room. <laughs> it's like, screw it, that's gonna be my thing. <laughs> Beta's memes tell him a port. It's like teleport, but a little better. Yeah, well, he basically explained it better better there than I could, guys, so. Oh, oh boy. Buy your tell him a port pads right now. You'll get there quicker, and you'll get there more safely, and. Hey, speech impediment problems won't be a problem. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I no. Don't know. But if you use them on this channel, speech impediment problems are a very, very huge danger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm not. Too many cuts, guys. I'm not fighting for. Oh, okay, wait. Actually, I can try and show one strategy that I that I actually like using before. These guys, I don't know if it's because they're so sleepy all the time, but they tend to be like they tend to be very vulnerable to lullaby. So we can use lullaby, puts them to sleep. Yep, and it worked on all of them except for one. So that's pretty nice. <laughs> I was about to say, I hope, like, I was kind of hoping that it would only work on one. In all honesty. <laughs> yeah, I am such a jerk now. <laughs> It only worked on wood. Yeah, basically use mm. lullaby on them. Then what you can do is have uh, is just have Bo just start smacking the crap out of them, and you could, if you wanted, you could use focus to regain that ability if you wanted, uh, or to regain your star power if you so desired. But that is purely optional, of course. Yay. Okay, so I'll probably cut out the rest of this battle. Um, right after I say, before I forget, because I keep meaning to say this, but we keep getting distracted by other things. <laughs> uh, you guys remember the slow go badge that we got back in the dry dry ruins? The one that makes oh, you move boy. like slow as crap? Well, basically, <laughs> how I said there was actually one use for it. The use, well, actually, better than explaining it now, I will show you since we actually have one way to show it very soon. <laughs> but, so, um,. Yeah, I was gonna cut this battle, but I'm already down to two of them. Yeah. I was gonna say, tell them a port, part three. Oh god, no. I still remember. I like one of the uh, one of the titles I gave one of my Metroid Prime videos. It was a, uh, it was like some like upon the cutting board or something. Cause I cut so many times during that episode. It was ridiculous. Well, back to the cutting board. Yeah, I know. Uh... <laughs> okay, so that battle's done finally. Yay! Oh, we're almost at so a level. Now you can go all Metal Gear Solid on them. Yep. Oh boy. Use the castle key. Now let's finally see what this door is. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got some maple syrup. Not too shabby. Yay. Oh man. Well, basically it's like, eh. Well, the slow go badge is basically just what it does. Since these guys are so sleepy, you know how it basically said like move slowly and you won't wake them up. Well, basically in this, uh, oh crap, totally. If you move, if you move slowly, uh, it won't wake them up. If you have the slow go badge, there's no way you could possibly wake them up unless you run into them. Anyway, hmm, what's this? Sniff, sniff. I smell something very fishy. Uh, what? It wasn't me. I swear, I took a shower. <laughs> I don't know, dude. You've been oh. going down, up and down them pipes a lot. You know? <laughs> it's like Mario. What have you stepped in? Oh, don't go back the way you came, dude. I need to get past you. Up. Oh. God dang, it's at the part where you have to, like, go invisible and try and get past them. Oh, it's man. like, whoa. He, like, doubled back all of a sudden when I got out of invisibility. <laughs> oh, okay, this is the jerk room right here. Oh, boy. Yeah. What do we have here? Guard freaking 
Club of Guards galore. <laughs> ah, ah, run, run, ah! <laughs> Some of it, I was walking in the middle of them, and it was like, okay, this is going smoothly. I'm not waking, I'm not waking them up at all. It's like this is going fine. Uh, <laughs> this is basically Metal Gear Solid too. Then it, all of them, like five of the six, woke up at once. I think the one's still being a lazy ass in the back. <laughs> Clearly, he just loves his job, but he sleeps at it. Yep. Hey, he's like, hey, I still get paid. <laughs> <laughs> I still get paid, you know. I don't have to do a darn thing. Okay, guys, with these clubbers. Derpily, and yes, I'm making that a word, derpily, running into derp. this platform. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs> derpily? <laughs> running into this platform, thinking, okay, we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, and they're not really doing anything. It's like, apparently they're too fat to jump, so. We're gonna leave this here, and we're, we're just gonna let them exercise a bit, maybe they can get some less chub. <laughs> and we'll be meeting you back in the next episode. God, this is, this is one hell of an episode, guys. Oh boy. So like usual, this has been Beta Nights. <laughs> and this has been the Data Night. For Let's Play Paper Mario. We'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye bye y'all. Take care, y'all. <laughs>